Hi, welcome to Lizzie Yu. I'm Lynn Bell, and today I'm going to talk to you about fuses and your Tin Lizzie. First of all, I want to let you know that what a fuse does is it protects your motor from overload. Sometimes you'll be quilting and the machine will stop. It could be a fuse. Sometimes there'll be a very loud pop. That could be the fuse blowing. Um, and uh, sometimes you'll turn it on and it just won't start and it may well be your fuse. So if you speak to your tech and they tell you to check the fuse in your machine, you'll know what to do after this segment. There are three different fuse configurations in the Tin Lizzie machines. The ESPs have one or two fuses and all of the ov older models have only one fuse. The ESP fuses are in the back of the machine and the older, the other models uh, all have them at the power supply. So let's take a look first at the models that have it in the power supply. So let's take a look first at the ESP. You need a flat head screwdriver. These are the two that come with your Tin Lizzy machine or you can use one that's around your home. The first thing you want to do is turn off your machine. And I actually disconnect it from the power source as well. Then you want to insert the flathead and it'll be straight up and down. Hold on to the machine and exert a slight pressure and turn it about one minute to the left. So you would be turning it from midnight to 11 o'clock. And that will release the fuse so that it comes out. And then you just take a hold of it and you pull it out. And this is what you end up with. You remove the fuse and you can easily see if it is the, if the little element is broken. If it is, you replace that. You put the replacement in. You gently, and I want to emphasize gently, Put the fuse back in until it goes in. Just very gently, it will go in when it's at 11 o'clock. And then you take your screwdriver, apply gentle pressure again while holding the machine, and turn it back straight up to midnight, and your fuse is changed. I also want you to notice that on our screen, we have listed every model of Tin Lizzy and the amperage and number of the fuse that it takes to replace that. Most of these are available at Radio Shack, but some of them have to be ordered because they don't always carry them. So if I were you, I would find out, uh, I would match the fuse to my machine and I would just order a couple and keep them on hand. So some ESP machines have two fuses and some have only one. There's a uh, five on the top and a 10 on the bottom. If you have only one fuse on the ESP, it is a five. Now let's move over to the other models and I'll show you where those fuses are. All right, so for all models that are not ESPs, this is how you would change the fuse for them. For these models, I prefer the larger screwdriver. It makes it a lot easier. This is your power supply. Now on the other machines, this particular box will be in different configurations or maybe in a different place, but this part of it will be the same on every power box. And this is where your fuse will be located. The way you remove the fuse is there's a little tiny niche right in here above your off on and below your plug. So you're going to have to remove your plug. You get the corner, I have to get the corner of this in that niche and then I simply apply a little pressure back from the top and it'll pop right out as you can see. Once that pops out you simply remove it and there's your fuse. Now the really neat thing about these machines is they always packed a spare fuse in the machine. So if you've never blown a fuse and you blow one, you should already have a spare sitting here waiting for you. 
you pull it out to check it, check the element. If it needs to re be replaced, you can take the one that is in here or you can take a new one. Pop it right back in, like that. And then you can see that there is the notch right here, which is where you put your screwdriver. That is where this little notch right here goes. So you stand it up this way and put that little notch right in there and apply pressure and you're done. And it's that easy to change the fuse on your Tin Lizzie. Thank you for joining us at Tin Lizzie 18 where we're committed to helping quilters of all levels realize their quilting dreams. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Check out our calendar regularly for upcoming webinars, new videos, and classes. Happy quilting!